All right, let's go to Sam Mack now. He is, I uh, kid you not, at a birthing class in DY. At a birthing yes. class? <laughs> I don't know Do why. you want to tell us something, <laughs> Sam Mack? Um, yeah, I've met some great friends. I have nothing to do with any of the pregnancies oh. here. Um, <laughs> Yeah, this is something yes. that I honestly I know nothing about this area, but that's Shock part me. of what I love about this job. What I area? get thrown it's into these DY. environments. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, area of DY. It's a beautiful spot, great <laughs> suburb. Uh, but what we're going to do over the next three and a half hours, we're going to learn about hypno birthing. These guys are here. This is a purpose built uh, gym or studio where it's all about getting you ready for the most peaceful, um, perfect pregnancy that you can imagine. So uh, it's a fascinating area. This morning, we're going to find out their stories. We're going to learn all about it. Um, you know it's good when they've got fairy lights on the floor. That's my kind of gym. Be careful, guys, walking around. But let's do an early check of your weather around Australia. Now, when a lot of people think about birth, they think about screaming. They think about agony, the pain. Sorry, I hope I'm not scaring you guys. <laughs> I've just seen a lot of movies. Um, but look, this is what we're talking about. This is what your birth can look like with hypnobirthing. Doesn't that look so... It looks like a Beyonce oh, yeah. film clip. Um, hands up if you think your birth is going to look like that. Hands up. All the staff members put their hands up pretty quickly. <laughs> well, guys, this morning we're going to learn all about hypnobirthing over the next few hours. Bring it on. This morning we are meeting some of the lovely ladies and their partners who are excited about giving birth very soon in this uh, specific gym that's built for pregnant ladies. So, great idea. Let's have a bit of a tour. We've got Ross over here who um, looks like an absolute dreamboat upon entry. He's even flexing. Uh, the computer's not even plugged in. But you started this whole thing, mate. Why? Uh, we started to help mothers around Australia. Um, we felt that gyms around the world, uh, mums were a side product, but in here it's a gym just for them. Yeah, very cool. Congratulations. Uh, wonderful food assortment there. We've got the ladies doing their early morning sessions over there. Um, they've got their best angle. You're welcome, ladies, for that one. Uh, doing a great job. But come through here. We're going to show you the rest of the class. Let's say good morning to everyone. Hi, guys. Hello. And we're going to chat with Melissa, who can tell us all about it. Melissa, for those that are unfamiliar, what is hypnobirthing? It's a fancy word for a positive birth. Is that right? And what do you mean by a positive birth? Well, there's so much fear around childbirth, yeah. unfortunately. Like, when people think of giving birth, they're normally thinking of screaming yeah. and, you know, pain, etc. And so the Hypnobirthing Australia Positive Birth Program teaches knowledge, tools, preparation mm -hmm. and support so that parents can prepare for a really calm and beautiful birth because birth can actually be the most beautiful event in your life. And what is the role of the men here? Well, the partners play a really important role in the Hypnobirthing Australia course. Um, they are our support. They're, they're normally the person who we know, like, especially when we're going to a hospital. You'd hope that you'd know them. <laughs> well, yeah. You, you, yeah I, that I would be an important be factor, yeah. I'd imagine. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, um, but they're, they're our home. You know, they're, yeah. they're our familiarity. And so they're the best person to be able to help to support us, along with our caregivers, obviously. Yeah. But um, we work as a team together. I love it. Well, we're going to be learning a lot about it over the next few hours. There's lots of different methods involved with hypnobirthing. Thank you so much. Thank you guys for sharing your bumps and your husbands today. Very good. Uh, so over the next few hours, more on hypnobirthing. At the moment, I've lowered my voice, guys, because they're doing something called a light touch massage. Um, so let's check in on some of the uh, pregnant ladies and their partners here. We have Rena. Rena, um, how is he going delivering your light touch massage? He's doing it very well. Yeah. He's um, doing it nicely, so I'm enjoying this a lot. If there was one area he could improve on, what would that be? How can he improve? Maybe including the head as well. Did you hear that? Did touch. you hear that? Yeah. <laughs> Include the head as well, please. Yep, you heard her. Yep, <laughs> she's in charge. Remember that. That's a very important thing to remember over the next few months, my friend. Um, <laughs> and for the rest of your lives, obviously. Um, did you ever think that you would be in a hypnobirthing class on live national television? Definitely not. <laughs> What's your name? Matt. And how did you find yourself here, Matt? Is this your first child? Uh, second child. Yeah, how exciting. So tell me about your other child. How old? Uh, he's two. Yeah, and um, do you know if you're having a boy or a girl? We're having a girl, yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, have you thought about names? Uh, the only name we've agreed on is Mia so far. Oh, that's a great name. Yeah, Mia's beautiful. So is it that sort of thing where when uh, the baby is born you'll know if she's a Mia or not? Yes. How do you know that? 
Uh, it's a tricky decision to make, but yeah, I feel like you can just tell. Yeah, well, good luck, guys. Look forward to meeting Mia or whatever you call her in the future. Uh, let's head over here. Um, Why are you speaking like Karen? No. Oh, no. <laughs> well, because because there's soothing uh, meditation music playing, guys, and I don't want to be like, yeah, guys, we're over here. Hi, I'm Sam Matt. No, I don't want to be that guy. Um, how are you? Awesome. Feeling great. What <laughs> attracted you to this idea of birth, hypnobirthing? Um, the positive, um, more natural birthing. Okay, well, in a moment, we're going to play uh, a game show that I've created, but we'll let them finish this. <laughs> it's time for everybody's favourite game show, Guess That Bump. Round of applause, please. <laughs> we're going to play Guess That Bump, guys. I'm going to go along the line and guess how pregnant they are. You are oh. four months pregnant. No. Seven. This is, is going to be seven. Seven months pregnant. Oh, this is a close. You are eight months pregnant. Close, eight and a half. Yes, yes, oh, wow. I'm back. You are little. four months pregnant. Five months. Five months, yeah, I'm getting good as we go along the line. Um, <laughs> three months. Eight months. Eight months, wow, I did it well. Um, two months. Seven. <laughs> should I quit while I'm ahead or yeah. should we keep going no, down the line? Not cool. You are not quit, pregnant. None quit, of you guys quit, are pregnant, quit. they're not pregnant. Um, you are no, very close, you are seven and a half months. I'm nine months. Nine months. Eight months. She's pregnant. Yes. yes, I'll take it. I'm getting out on a high. Give yourselves a round of applause. That was Guess That Bump. You Coming soon to seven mates. You're going to get punched in the head. <laughs> Hypnobirthing is what we're showcasing this morning. If you can hear in the background at the moment, they've got some Ed Sheeran on. This is part of the birthing process with hypnobirthing. You can do some slow dancing. Seriously. I think this is what got these guys into this situation in the first place. But um, I love it. I love it. And it's a way to get the body moving to help bring on the baby. Here it comes to the beat drops. Baby, ah. So well, beautiful, guys, isn't never it? Looked more yes, lonely. it is. Take me into your loving arms. This is really cool. I like. If I was going to have a baby with a special someone, this would be my vibe. Let's just slow dance the baby out. It's that easy, right? It's really interesting, isn't it, Sam? Where it's another way that people are going about their birth um, these days. We're chatting with uh, Kate and Helen right now. Kate is providing some acupuncture, which is an, another way that people can um, bring on the baby. Is that right? Well, acupuncture can be used for lots of different things for pregnancy. It's, it's been shown to be quite safe during pregnancy for lots of different things like reflux, hip pain, back pain, turning breech babies, and then also for labour preparation. Some people would freak out at the thought of having those things put in them, but you, you're really into it, Helen. Yeah, it's really nice. It's very relaxing. Anyone else into the acupuncture for, for their birth? You've already had one success. Well, that wasn't this morning, by the way. That was a little while ago. They're not that good. They are good. Um, what about you? Would you go the acupuncture angle? Yeah, definitely. Anything what helps um, in order to bring the baby into the world happily. Now, I wonder if um, the men feel valued in here because, look, I'll be honest, I've been watching things and you, <laughs> the guys aren't contributing a hell of a lot to my eyes, but uh, what do you get out of it? Um, we get support and knowledge. So yeah. we, we actually get to understand this isn't a medical procedure. This is a natural yeah. um, procedure. So it helps us calm our partners down so we're not panicking and chaotic. And if that happens, nobody wins. So for us, it was about being calm. An important thing you must have learned is to never tell them to calm down, right? Because that never works in any no. scenario. Oh, Ma no. Mainly yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, never tell a woman, particularly if they're pregnant, to calm down. Uh, all right, guys, well, more in a moment. We're going to talk about uh, meditation in a moment as well. There's lots of different methods that can help you bring on your baby. So your voice is actually the voice that a lot of these ladies will hear through the process because you do the, um, is it a meditation yeah. technique? Yeah, so it's self-hypnosis, but you could call it meditation or deep relaxation. And they listen to albums leading up to the birth, yeah. during the birth and even afterwards, which help you to just calm down and feel really positive about your birth, reprogram your subconscious. I want to give our audience an example of that right now because I think it's a really interesting way to approach it. So if we can put on some uh, meditative music, some soothing tunes in the background, and we'll just get you to give us an example of how you would deliver uh, this one, for example. My baby is a perfect size for my body. Yeah, right, okay, that's cool. I'll hold on to that one. Let's go another one. What about that one? My mind is calm, my body is relaxed. Yeah, you've got such a perfect voice for it. <laughs> I love this. I am a strong woman. Do you like this, ladies? Does this work for you? You're feeling that? Well, I've written a few, and th these are oh, things God. that I think people might actually say in a birthing suite. So do you want to try these as well? We are never having sex again. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Um, let's just try another one here. What about, what about this one? 
This baby is huge. I feel like I'm giving birth to Clive Palmer. Yeah. <laughs> wow, I think people have felt like that in the birthing suite before. Give me all of the drugs immediately <laughs> or die. Round of applause. I mean, just pointing out, she doesn't actually say that on the official soundtrack, but it's a, it's a big experience, guys. We wanted to share you both sides of it. We're going to be back with more hypnobirthing in half an hour. Round of applause, everyone. Very good. Good job, Melissa. DY, that's right. It's called Bump, and they're fantastic. Set up particularly, specifically for ladies and their partners, husbands, are about to give birth. We're looking at Marianne and Dan right now. They've set up their perfect birthing environment. So we're going to get them to tell us a bit about that. Yeah, hi. So our, our birthing environment, we've just got the lights down nice and low. Just want to keep everything nice and calm. We've got some gentle affirmation music playing. I'm doing some light touch massage while Marianne gets comfortable on the ball as she can. And is that working for you? You're nice and comfortable there, Marianne? Yeah, this kind of helps. It's a good position sitting up as opposed to lying down. Um, keeping moving. Uh, the more you move, the better it is. Um, you are actually eight and a bit months pregnant, so this could be very real all of a sudden. Well, this morning we thought it was, so, um, but we're here and it's not, so we're okay. Well, we've got one more cross. If you could save it to 8.30, that'd be fantastic. <laughs> you never know. Live TV, I could actually be giving birth oh, today. Guys, we love it. Thanks for sharing this. Thank you. Up. Look, guys, I hate to upstate. Edwina's announcement earlier. Um, but <laughs> Congratulations to Eddie and Neil. Wonderful news, but I've got some news of my own. This is my perfect birthing suite here, guys, at Bump. Uh, I obviously like the soothing sounds of Shaggy, the greatest artist of all time, with Mr. Bombastic. That really gets me in the zone. Uh, the ladies are doing a wonderful job with some head massages. I'm also a big sports fan. It's got to be very personal, so I want this to be like a stadium, like a sporting event. Can we get a bit of a chant going, guys? I feel good now. I feel very soothed. I'm getting a foot massage. This is how I would give birth. Oh, thank you. This is how I would give birth. Um, there is one more thing. Though. I guess the light at the end of the tunnel, the exciting part, is you know that smell of a baby's head when they're, they're newly born and that soft feeling and... That's what's driving me. That's what's exciting me. So the closest I can get to that is my producer. If I can bring in Sean from the human emoji. And, um, no, this is getting weird. His head, his head doesn't smell Stop that it. good. This it's is something I've Stop wanted it. to do since I started no. the show. So I want it to smell no. really no. nice. So this, oh, this is it. suddenly I'm ready to give birth. I've no. never felt more ready to bring a beautiful baby into the world. That soft head and oh, like a newborn baby. This is delicious. Round of applause, ladies. We've got a newborn. Baby this is how he can deliver his gold logan. That's just the weirdest thing I've ever seen. It's our fault for sending two men to cover the birth. Oh no. no. You've taken no. something that's beautiful and natural and mm. made it horrific. <laughs> <laughs> I've learned that um, the best way to really annoy my producer, the human emoji, is to rub honey on his head. Um, but that's something that I've actually wanted to do since the first day I met him. I don't know why, but sometimes you just get those urges. I mean, he gets me in a lot of situations, so it was a nice little bit of payback. But we have learned a lot about the world of hypnobirthing. Uh, it's been fascinating to get this insight. I guess the main points they want to get out is you can try to make it a calm experience, and it's all about preparing, creating the perfect birthing environment. And this is a great spot where you can learn all those techniques it's called Bump and it's in DY and there's actually uh, Hypnobirthing Australia who have classes right around the country so if you're pregnant and if you're thinking what can I do, how can I make this you know, as smooth as possible then maybe this is a technique you want to try. Is it true that Meghan Markle apparently used Hypnobirthing so if the celebrities are doing it, it must be right. Is that right team? Of course you're going to say that, you're staff here. But well done today, thank you for sharing it with us.